Lake Turkana provides a vital life stream for the people of the severely challenged desert region of Kenya. A proposed dam on the river that feeds the lake will threaten the very existence of the inhabitants of this vast, arid landscape. I think there are all sorts of questions about the dam. There is a long-term implication of environmental damage and the loss of livelihoods and the disappearance of a lake which provides fish. And the fact that traditional nomads and pastorists are being forced into new areas crossing international frontiers to find limited amounts of grazing. And this has always before and will again for many years led to conflict. When Richard Leakey brought this, the whole issue about what's happening in the dam, he basically brought me documents and said, well, it's your people and you go on with it. While coming from this community, I had stayed out so long that I had to come back and really integrate myself to understand what challenges I was going to face. Ikal Engle formed the Friends of Lake Turkana movement and began to gather the communities together to hear their concerns. The response from the people was devastating. If our government is unable to come to some agreement and stop the dam, then there is no point. We will be better off if the government would dig a grave for us, and as soon as that dam begins, we can all walk into that grave. We don't want that sort of development that wipes out a way of life for people, that wipes out a culture. That's what, for me, was going to be lost. It wasn't easy. It was hard. The days I'd go to bed, really, I'd cry at night and ask myself, what am I doing? ECAL and her newfound constituency made demands of the major stakeholders, including the Kenyan Parliament and the World Bank, to halt the $60 billion Gibby 3 Dam project. To many people's amazement, their efforts were successful. We used information, we used opportunity, and we used networks and friends. UNESCO has, uh, has made a ruling that was for us. We've had the European Investment Bank withdrawing. The feeling can't be explained. The days you just stand there and you tear because you're excited. You understand this is just but one huddle, but it's been so exciting. It's a desert and you find a lake right in the middle. Why was it there? There had to be a reason. And that's why there's a reason why we'll keep fighting to just leave it there. For outstanding environmental achievement in Africa, the 2012 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Ikal Angele Lodvar, Kenya.